throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Ghost stories are never of a cheerful nature. They are always embedded with a degree of sadness and tragedy. Among the most somber and tragic of ghost stories ever conceived hails from Mexican folklore, La Llorona. Spanish for the weeping woman, La Llorona has been a part of Hispanic culture in Mexico, Central America, Northern South America, and in the Southwest United States since the days of the conquistadors. She is a tall, thin spirit, said to be blessed with supernatural beauty and long flowing black hair. She wears a white gown and a veil that covers her face. She roams the rivers and creeks, wailing into the night, searching for children to abduct and subject to a watery grave. Though her tales vary from source to source, the common thread is that she is the spirit of a doomed mother who drowned her children and spends eternity searching for them along the banks of rivers and lakes and attacking those that cross her path. In the most widespread story, the woman who would one day become La Llorona was a beautiful Mexican woman named Maria who was admired and desired by countless would-be suitors. Eventually, she married a handsome and wealthy man, some stories declaring he was a ranchero or even a conquistador, but all say that he had a checkered past as an alcoholic and a womanizer. Things went well for the couple, who would go on to have a pair of sons. But her husband's old ways creeped back into their lives, and his inner demons swallowed him whole. He abandoned Maria and their two sons, and left them for another woman. Maria was racked with guilt until all sense fled her body. In her turmoil, she drowned her two sons in a nearby lake, and shortly thereafter, she died upon the shore of the same lake. Her melancholy spirit was condemned to haunt the shores of freshwater sources, weeping for her lost children. Should anyone, particularly children, find themselves on riverbanks or lake shores after dark, they risk encountering La Llorona, who may then drown them as she had done to her own children. Certainly a chilling tale, and one that has been told for generations to scare children into doing as they are told. But could the legend of La Llorona have roots in legends that are even more ancient? Some speculate that La Llorona's legend was at least partially influenced by Aztec mythology. Siwakuatl, the Aztec goddess of childbirth and motherhood, and said to be the first woman of Mexico, was described as unnaturally beautiful, with long dark hair and adorned in a white robe, not unlike the classic visage of La Llorona. Mixcoatl, Siwakuatl's son, was the storm god and some legends say that she left him one day at a crossroad. After some time, she repented her actions and returned to find her son, but Mixcoatl was gone, and only a sacrificial dagger was left in his stead. Siwakuatl cried, and her tears were so many that they filled the waters of Lake Xochimilco. Haunted by her pain, she would not leave the area, searching for her son, eternally somber for what she had done. And so, since time immemorial, 
the great goddess haunted the waters of Xochimilco. Another possible progenitor to the legend of La Llorona is La Malinche, also known as Marina or Malince. La Malinche was a Nahua woman who acted as an interpreter and advisor to Hernán Cortés himself. She would later become his mistress and bore him a son named Martin. After Cortés took Martin away to Spain with him, La Malinche died under mysterious circumstances not long after. A mother of indigenous Mexican descent, bereft of her child, with a wealthy yet unscrupulous husband who abandons her. These points have led many to theorize that La Llorona may in fact be the vengeful spirit of La Malinche herself. Regardless of her origin, the myth of La Llorona is widespread and holds strong in Hispanic culture, with parents warning their children not to wander off in the dark or they may run into the weeping woman. Some believe in the legend so strongly that they have allegedly seen her spectral visage wandering about, or have heard her mournful cries in the night. In addition to her paranormal cryptid status, La Llorona has become a favorite subject among horror fans, gracing the pages of books and the silver screen with her presence. Though some believe the legend of La Llorona to be a bastardization of age-old tales, or just simply a folktale used to compel children into behaving properly, the image of a ghostly woman weeping out into the night is sure to send chills down the spine of both child and adult alike. 